What's up, everybody? The Bird Killer here bringing you week 17 in the Jacksonville Jaguars franchise mode. The Jaguars have officially been eliminated from playoff contention, losing both of their games to the Tennessee Titans, who sit at 7 and 8. This week, we play the Indianapolis Colts coming into this game at 5 and 10. We played them in week one, and they came out victorious 31 to 15 keeping our offense basically unable to do anything. Um, they haven't had a great season. Phillip Rivers did not make the change that they were hoping, but uh, the Indianapolis Colts are looking towards the future, as are the Jaguars, as both are out of playoff contention. This is just a rivalry game. Gardner Minshew this season has been poor. He has been inconsistent he has turnover issues he can't complete the ball um, at a high at a high rate he's just not playing high level football there are some good notes on the season so far J rookie running back James Robinson has played well defensive line Taven Bryan Adam Gotts Gotts has stood out Joe Schober, even though he's getting older has stood out and become a superstar Miles Jack has played like a Pro Bowl player, but let's get into this game. Here comes Phillip Rivers, 3,978 yards on the season, 26 touchdowns to 20 interceptions. Not what you usually see out of Phillip Rivers, maybe as of late, um, but uh, not what you're expecting when he came to the Indianapolis Colts. Colts going to start this out first and 10. Phillip Rivers will be in the backfield by himself. He's going to take the snap, fire this out quickly in the area of Jack Doyle, and he's going to overthrow him. And that will bring up a second down. As you can see, those are the injuries for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Basically, everybody is back and healthy. On second down, Phillip Rivers will be under center. Jacksonville is going to send everybody. Jack Doyle is going to make the reception, and Wilson's there to take him down for a short gain. It'll be third and long here for Indianapolis early in this game. Marlon Mack in the backfield with Phillip Rivers. He will be in the shotgun. He's going to take the snap. He's got time. Fires over the middle to Jack Doyle, makes the reception. And there's the rookie, run it, uh, rookie cornerback, C.J. Henderson, who is back and he makes the tackle. Philip Rivers with an empty backfield here on first down. He's gonna take the snap, fire this out quick. Jack Doyle again, and he brings this to midfield, and he is down with an injury. He looks like he is hurting pretty good. It'll be second and short for Indianapolis here. Ball just over, just at midfield. Philip Rivers in the shotgun, gonna hand this to Marlon Mack, who's gonna go right. And he had a huge lane to the right if he had kept going, but he cuts back left. And it'll only be a gain of seven when it could have been a touchdown. First and ten anyways for the Indianapolis Colts. Phillip Rivers in the shotgun. Marlon Mack in the backfield with him. Rivers is going to take the snap. Hand this to Marlon Mack who's going to go up the middle and get a good game before he's stopped by Josh Jones. It'll be second and four ball at the Indianapolis 37 yard or Jacksonville 37 yard line. Rivers in the shotgun. Going to take the snap, hand this ball off. He's going to go right up the middle, makes a juke, makes another man miss, and that is a touchdown for, I believe that is Naheem. Nope, that is Jordan Wilkins on a big run there for Indianapolis, and they are already on the board. And out come Rosas to kick the extra point. The kick is up, and it is good. And Indianapolis jump up 7 to nothing here early in this game. Rosas ready to kick this ball away to Jacksonville. Clay Brooks can return this. He's been on a good streak as of late. He's going to get this past the 20 and up to about the 23 yard line before he's taken down. And out comes Gardner Minshew. Minshew has not had a great season. 3,735 yards, 24 touchdowns, 21 interceptions. As you can see, the completion percentage is a problem with Gardner. 
Will Gardner Minshew continue to be the quarterback of the future here for Jacksonville? Only time will tell. We've got to get through this season and then get into the offseason and the draft. But let's finish this game. First and ten here for Jacksonville. He's going to throw out a pass. D.D. Westbrook makes the reception and goes down, and it's enough for a first down. Two tight ends to the left here for Gardner Minshew in the I formation. Miller in the backfield with Robinson. This will go to Robinson. He's going to follow his blockers and get a gain of about nine. Robinson last week, 19 carries, 114 yards, two rushing touchdowns, and a receiving touchdown as well for the rookie. Second and short here for Jacksonville. Minshew's going to fake the handoff, roll out right. He's got time. He's going to set his feet and fire out to DJ Chark, who makes the reception, and that is a big first down. DJ Chark has over 1,250 yards receiving this season. He has broken out as a superstar for the Jacksonville Jaguars. The handoff's going to go to Robinson on first and 10. He's going to trip over his own offensive lineman and go down. It'll be second and nine. Robinson in the backfield with Gardner Minshew. LaVisca Chennault in the slot. Gardner Minshew takes the snap. He's going to fire this out to James Robinson. Cuts back up. And he's going to have enough for a first down. It'll be first and 10. Ball at the 28-yard line. Already Jacksonville driving the ball down. Just as Indianapolis on their first drive. Miller in motion. The ball is going to go to Robinson up the middle, and he's going to get right behind Robinson and try to push forward for a short gain of four. Second and six, ball at the 24-yard line. LaVisca Chenault looking for his fifth receiving touchdown on the season. Jacksonville's opening drive so far has been successful. Gardner Minshew will be in the shotgun. James Robinson still in the game. LaShawn McCoy not needed as much since his return. Gardner Minshew is going to roll out to the right. Fire this to his tight end. Tyler Eifert makes the reception. Takes this to the 12-yard line. Minshew 4 out of 4 for 51 yards so far. On just this opening drive. Two tight ends to the right here for Gardner Minshew. Robinson in the backfield. They're going to give this to Robinson, who's going to try to go up the middle, and the Indianapolis Colts are going to come in and make the tackle after a short gain. Jacksonville at the 10-yard line. LaShawn McCoy has checked into the game for Jacksonville. Gardner Minshew takes the snap, passes it to Tyler Eifert, who's trying to get that first down yardage, and he's going to be stopped short. It'll be third and short. Indianapolis was able to hold Jacksonville to 15 points in their last game that they played, on, which was week one. Gardner Minshew under center takes the snap. He's going to fire this out to his guy, DJ Chark, who makes the catch, but is out of bounds, and it will be fourth down. Out comes Josh Lambeau to kick the field goal. The kick is up and it is good. And Jackson will get on the board. It is three to seven here in Indianapolis. And Josh Lambeau ready to kick this ball back to Phillip Rivers in the Indianapolis Colts. Will Rivers remain in Indianapolis or will he retire or will he move on to another team? Only time will tell. He will have the ball at his own 25-yard line to start out. He's going to be in the shotgun. Marlon Mack in the backfield with him. He's going to take the snap. This will be a draw up the middle. He's going to break the first tackle. And Miles Jack is there to make the tackle after Caleb on chase on was unable to take him down. It'll be second and th three here for Indianapolis. Rivers in the shotgun. He's going to take the snap. This will go to Marlon Mack. He's going to try to go up the middle. Runs into his own guy, and he's going to get a few. It'll be third and one. Rivers in the shotgun again. Jacksonville showing a blitz. Will uh, 
think that's Wilkins is going to get the carry and he has enough for a first down. Miles Jack is down on the play. Two tight ends into the game for Indianapolis. Phillip Rivers under center. He's going to give this to Marlon Mack who tries to go up the middle. But Taven Bryan is there to take him down after a short game. It is second and eight now for Indianapolis. Phillip Rivers in the shotgun takes the snap. Fills the blitz. Gets rid of it. And he just threw that ball away. That's going to be incomplete. Miles Jack pulled his hamstring but can return to this game. We will see if he is able to pull that off. We are er, we are late in this first quarter. Philip Rivers takes a snap. Here comes Joe Schobert and he is going to get to Philip Rivers and he's going to take him down. Joe Schobert has really grown as a player here in Jacksonville, but he has uh, already been in the league for quite some time. So Jacksonville, even though Joe Schobert is playing at a high level, have to think about potentially uh, grooming somebody to take his spot. D. Westbrook going to take this at the 23-yard line. He is going to run backwards after gaining about seven, and he's going to end up right where he started at the 23. Minshew on his second drive will start out under center, one tight end. This will be a handoff to James Robinson, who's going to go right up the middle for a good game. Darius Leonard is going to go down with an injury for the Indianapolis Colts. Minshew in the shotgun. Miller and Robinson in the backfield with him. This will be a handoff to Robinson. Robinson is going to take a big hit, but holds on to the ball, and it will be a first down. Rhodes with the big hit. Three tight end set here to the right for Gardner Minshew. Miller's going to be motion out to the left. We This usually means Robinson's going to get the ball. And he's going to go right up the middle. And this time he tries to squirt out to the left. And he gets quite a few yards. It'll be second and one. Rocky Sin in on the tackle. Gardner Minshew in the shotgun. Robinson into the game. This will be a handoff to him yet again. He is going to be met, but he is going to have enough for a first down. And that will do it for the first quarter here. Indianapolis leads 7-3 in Indianapolis. Jaguars are driving on their second drive, though. Two tight ends set to the right for Gardner Minshew. This will be a handoff to Robinson. Goes right up the middle. And he's going to be taken down after a short game. Ridgeway on, in on the tackle. Minshew in the shotgun. Robinson in the backfield with him. He's going to take the snap. He's going to roll out to his right. He's got time. He's going to fire this down to Dede Westbrook, who makes a tough contested catch. Dede Westbrook has came on strong at the end of this season has, and has earned himself a contract here in Jacksonville for the future. Minshew under center takes a snap. He's got time. He's going to fire this deep. And that is going to be almost caught by D.D. Westbrook, but that was tight coverage. And it'll be second and 10 instead. Gardner Minshew, two tight ends to the right. Robinson in the backfield with him. Robinson's going to go in motion to the right. Minshew takes a snap. Here comes the blitz. He's going to be hit, and D.D. Westbrook makes the catch, and he has more than enough for a first down. He's going to take this into the red zone after a good reception. D.D. Westbrook, three receptions for 46 yards already on the game. Two tight ends to the right here for Gardner Minshew, who will be under center. James Robinson's going to get the ball, and he is going to go right up the middle, and he's going to take another big hit, this time from Willis, but that will be a first down, and it'll be first and goal for Jacksonville. Jacksonville coming out and playing nitty-gritty football here, running the ball, and uh, Gardner Minshew is being accurate and smart with the football. He's going to fake the handoff here. He's going to roll out to the left. He's got time. He's going to fire this to D.D. Westbrook, who had it in his hands, and he is going to be sandwiched by two defenders, and that's going to fall incomplete. Gardner Minshew in the shotgun here on second and goal. Takes a snap. He's got a little bit of time to force Buckner and give him chase. He's going to throw this ball in the area. LaVisca Chenault 
and that's going to fall incomplete. Third and goal here for Jacksonville. Gardner Minshew playing a little bit better towards the end of the season. He has still got to do a lot better if he wants to keep his job next year. He's going to fire this out to his running back, and he is only going to get back to the line of scrimmage. And that will bring out the field goal team. Lambeau ready to kick a 24-yard give me. The snap is good. Kick is up, and Lambeau is accurate as usual. And Jacksonville bringing it a little bit closer, 6-7. to seven. Indianapolis still with the lead. Lambeau ready to kick this ball back to Indianapolis. The kick is up, and it's going to sail through the back of the end zone. And Phillip Rivers will get it at his own 25-yard line. Phillip Rivers will be under center here. Marlon Mack in the backfield. He's going to take the ball. This will go to Marlon Mack, who's going to make a few guys miss, and he's going to get a good gain. It'll be second and three here for Indianapolis. Jacksonville showing blitz. They are going to blitz. Marlon Mack going to go right up the middle, and Allen's going to take him down from behind, just short of a first down. Phillip Rivers in the shotgun. Marlon Mack to his right. Jacksonville are a blitzing team. This is going to go right to Marlon Mack and Joe Schobert's there to make the tackle, but not before Marlon Mack is able to able to get the first down. It is first and 10, ball at the 39-yard line. Trips to the left here for Phillip Rivers, and this will be a toss out to Marlon Mack. And he's going to beat a few guys, and that's a big run for Marlon Mack before he's taken down by Wilson. Marlon Mack already 55 yards rushing on the game. Phillip Rivers with two tight ends into the game. Looks like Taylor has checked in as the running back. The ball will go to him, and he's not going to get much as Leon Jacobs is there to take him down after a gain of one. Taylor still in the game. Two tight ends to the right here for Phillip Rivers. T.Y. far out to the left. Phillip's got time. He's baking a cake, and this is a deep pass to T.Y. Hilton, and he's going to make a move, and he's going to take this all the way to the 12-yard line for a big first down. T.Y. Hilton, one reception, 29 yards. Empty backfield here for Phillip Rivers on first and 10. He's going to take the snap. He's going to fire this out to Burton, who spins off a tackle. And he's going to get this to the four-yard line. It'll be second and short here for Indianapolis. Burton, look at, well, he makes the catch and does a beautiful spin. Marlon Mack back into the game. Phillip Rivers is going to hand this ball off to Marlon Mack, and he's going to break the tackle of Taven Bryan and walk into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Out comes Rosas, ready to kick the extra point. The kick is up, and it is good, and Indianapolis go up 14-6 to in this game. Rosas ready to kick this ball away back to Jacksonville. This is returnable by Clay Brooks, who's came on strong at the end of the season. He's going to get this to the 22-yard line, and that's where Gardner Minshew will take over. Jacksonville still looking for their identity. I think they should become a run-first team. Two tight ends into the game for Gardner Minshew. He's going to fake the handoff, and he's going to throw this deep. D.D. Westbrook had it in his hands, and it is jarred loose and almost intercepted there on first down. Second down here, two tight ends to the right. Gardner Minshew in the shotgun takes the snap. Here comes the blitz. This is going to be a screen attempt for James Robinson, but the Indianapolis Colts were ready for it. It is third and long here for Gardner Minshew and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Minshew takes the snap. He's got time. He's going to fire this to the LaVisca Schnolt, and he's got room to move. He's going to take this all the way down to the 49-yard line for a big first down. 
LaVisca Chenault, the rookie wide receiver, over 750 yards receiving on the year. Minshew's going to pitch this out to Robinson. Robinson's going to break a tackle, and he's going to try to truck another one. He's going to take this to the 36-yard line. Robinson, 11 carries, 69 yards on the season. Hooker on the tackle. Minshew now in the shotgun. LaShawn McCoy has checked into the game. He's going to take the snap, and he's going to fire this deep. DJ Chark had his man beat. Xavier Woods was on the coverage, and that would have been a touchdown if Gardner Minshew could have thrown that ball where it needed to be. Second down, here comes the blitz, and they're going to get to him, and that's going to be a fumble, and that's going to be picked up by the Indianapolis Colts, and he is going to walk into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis, on the sack fumble. Pick up and score. Rosas out to kick the extra point. The kick is up and the kick is good. And Indianapolis are up 21 to 6 with 3 minutes and 17 seconds left to go in this half. Rosas ready to kick this ball back to Gardner Minshew and the Jaguars. Clay Brooks takes it at the 1. He's going to go up the middle, then cut left. And he's only going to get to the 22 yard line. Three tight ends into the game here for Jacksonville. Here comes O'Shaughnessy. Or that is not O'Shaughnessy. That is Tyler. LaShawn McCoy on the carry. And he's going to get a gain of... Or actually, he's going to lose a yard. Gardner Minshew in the shotgun now on second and 11. James Robinson in the backfield with him. Gardner Minshew has time. He's going to get hit as he throws, and that is going to be almost caught and almost intercepted at the same point. Good coverage by Indianapolis. Third and long. Empty backfield here for Gardner Minshew. He's going to change the play. He's going to take the snap. He's got a little bit of time. He's running out of time. And there they come, and down he goes. Darius Leonard, who went down with an injury earlier, comes back in and makes a sack. And out comes Logan Cook to punt this ball away, but it will be after the two-minute warning. Logan Cook on to punt for the Jaguars. Cook out to punt this ball away. The punt is up. And this is a returnable at the 30. He's going to go up the middle and take it to the 43-yard line before he is taken down. That was a good return by Rodgers. Marlon Mack back out to do some work. Phillip Rivers in the shotgun on first and 10, takes the snap. He's got some time. And he's going to fire this towards Marlon Mack, and that's going to fall incomplete. There was pressure in the face of Phillip Rivers. Two tight ends into the game for Indianapolis. Rivers under center. Marlon Mack into the game. Phillip Rivers throws this out to his tight end and makes a man miss. Breaks another tackle, and he's going to take this up to midfield. And it'll be third and short. Phillip Rivers in the shotgun. Takes the snap, fires it quickly to Trey Burton. Makes the, makes the catch and will be taken down by Scott but not before he is able to get a first down. Scott has earned himself more snaps even though Henderson is back. Phillip Rivers in the shotgun here, takes the snap. He's gonna fire this out to T.Y. Hilton and that is a good play by Herndon who is able to break that up. It is second and 10 now. Phillip Rivers takes the snap. He's gonna fire this out and that is gonna be intercepted by Scott. And he has got nothing but green pasture in front of him. And that is going to be a touchdown for the rookie defensive back who makes a big play for Jacksonville who needed it. Out comes Lambeau to kick the extra point to make this 13-21. to And it is good. And Jacksonville inched this closer. 47 seconds left to go in this first half. 
Lambeau ready to kick this ball away. Tennessee is blowing out Houston. Rosen has filled in quite well for Ryan Tannehill. The Tennessee Titans are a pretty decent team with Ryan Tannehill. I think they're a little bit better, but he has been out for the entire season. First and 10 here for Indianapolis. Phillip Rivers is going to be under center. He's going to fire this out quick, and that is caught, and that's going to go for a big gain. And timeout for Indianapolis as they are able to get this up to midfield in one play. Patman on the reception. Phillip Rivers in the shotgun, takes the snap. He's going to fire this out to Trey Burton, who makes the catch and gets it down to the 44-yard line. And Taven Bryan's going to go down with an uh, injury. So Indianapolis will not have to waste the timeout. Two tight ends to the right here for Phillip Rivers, who takes the snap, feels pressure, gets the ball off to Marlon Mack, and there's Joe Schobert for the open field tackle and timeout by Indianapolis. It'll be first and 10, ball at the 37-yard line. Taven Bryan is done for the game. Phillip Rivers will be in the shotgun. He's changing the play. T.Y. is going to go to the right. Rivers takes the snap. He's being blitzed, and he gets hit, and he goes down. That is Quarterman, who is filling in for Miles Jack, who's in there to get the sack. It'll be second and 15. Phillip Rivers in the shotgun, takes the snap. He's got time, but this is going to run out the clock. He's going to fire this towards T.Y. Hilton, who makes the catch, but that will be it for half. As Phillip Rivers held on to the ball for far too long, he should have taken a shot to the end zone. And Rosas will get us ready for the second half. Clay Brooks ready to take this out of the end zone. And he will. He's going to go out right, and he's going to get this to the 24-yard line. Jaguars are trailing 13-21 to here in Indianapolis to start off the second half. Gardner Minshew with three tight ends into the game. Miller will go in motion. Minshew's going to hand this ball off to Robinson who's got room up the middle and he's going to get a good gain of nine. It'll be second and one here for Jacksonville. Minshew will be in the shotgun. Robinson in there in the backfield with him. Westbrook in the slot. This will be a handoff to Robinson who's going to have enough for a first down. And he's going to truck the first guy, but end up being taken down. Robinson already over 80 yards on the game. He has turned out to be a good pickup here for Jacksonville. Minshew takes the snap from the shotgun. He's running out of time. Buckner's there, and Buckner gets the sack. DeForest Buckner in on the sack, and what a big pickup for Indianapolis. He should be good for a long time for Indianapolis. Second and forever, Gardner Minshew in the shotgun takes the snap, fires us out to his tight end, Tyler Eifert, who makes a good reception and takes it to the 42-yard line. It'll be third and seven now. Ball at the 42-yard line of Jacksonville. Minshew's going to fake the handoff. He's going to be under immediate pressure, throws this ball, and that was nearly intercepted. And out comes Logan Cook to punt this ball away. This is a, a decent punt. He's going to return it. First guy misses, but Quarterman does not. And Rodgers will take this out to the 23-yard line. Phillip Rivers will start off at the 23. He's going to be in the shotgun with Marlon Mack in the backfield. This will be a handoff to him. Miles Jack back into the game. But Marlon Mack is going to get this to the 32 for a gain of nine. Phillip Rivers in the shotgun here. Marlon Mack still in the game. This will be a handoff to him. He's going to go left, and he's going to break the first tackle. And he's going to end up being pushed taken down out of bounds by Miles Jack, but not after he gets enough and more for a first down. Phillip Rivers, two tight ends to the left. Mo Alley Cox into the game. Rivers going to fake the handoff. He's going to be under pressure, 
And there's Joe Schobert to take him down. Quinton Nelson goes down with an injury. He did that as well in the first game in week one. Phillip Rivers in the shotgun here. Marlon Mack in the backfield. He's going to take the snap. Give this to Marlon Mack. And he's got room to run. And he's going to take a couple big hits. And Scott's going to be the guy to take him down. And it'll be third and short. Trips to the left here for Phillip Rivers. Marlon Mack in the backfield with Rivers. Rivers is going to take the snap. He's got time. He's running out of time. He gets hit. That's a fumble. And the offensive lineman is going to pick it up. And Miles Jack's there to take him down. Couldn't see who got the hit on Phillip Rivers to cause the fumble. But out comes the punting team for the Indianapolis Colts. Sanchez. It was Gotsis who was able to get the sack. And that is 15. Gotsis is um, well into his career. He played quite a bit of time in Denver before coming over to Jacksonville. This has been a breakout season for him. But age is a, an issue. Minshew in the shotgun takes the snap. He's going to roll out to the right. Throw this on the run. D.D. Westbrook makes the reception. And he's going to get all the way down to the 41-yard line. D.D. Westbrook, four receptions, 72 yards on the game so far. Three tight ends into the game. Really, Miller is a fullback, but uh, he has been playing a lot of tight end this season, or the third tight end role. This will be a handoff to Robinson. Robinson is going to get nothing as the Indianapolis Colts were ready. Okariki, the um, rookie for the Indianapolis Colts, was there for the takedown. Empty backfield here for Gardner Minshew on second down. He's going to take the snap. He's going to fire this deep. DJ Chark makes the reception, beats his guy, and that is a touchdown for DJ Chark on a 60-yard bomb from Gardner Minshew. DJ Chark just flat out outran his guy, and out comes the two-point. Um, the Jaguars looking for a two-point. Gardner Minshew is plowed as he tries to get rid of that ball, and it will not be good. It is 19-21. Indianapolis still with the lead. Lambeau ready to kick this ball back to Indianapolis. The kick is up and it is not going to be returnable. And out comes Phillip Rivers and the Indianapolis Colts. Phillip Rivers with two tight ends into the game. Marlon Mack in the backfield. Rivers under center. He's going to take the snap. Give this to Marlon Mack. And Miles Jack is able to make the tackle. It'll be second and six ball at the 29 yard line. Phillip Rivers in the shotgun. Burton is in the slot to the left here. Rivers takes the snap. He's going to fire this out to his running back, Marlon Mack, who has enough for a first down. It will be first and ten here for Indianapolis. Marlon Mack still in the game. Phillip Rivers in the shotgun. This will be a handoff to Marlon Mack. And Joe Schobert's there to make a good tackle. And it'll be a short gain of one. Phillip Rivers will be in the shotgun. Wilkins is into the game. This is going to go right over to Trey Burton. Miles Jack had a chance to make a play but did not see the ball. And that is a first down for the Indianapolis Colts, who are now in Jacksonville territory. Phillip Rivers under center. Jonathan Taylor checks into the game. Phillip Rivers takes the snap, fires over the middle to Trey Burton, who was covered by Joe Schobert but still able to pull that ball down. Second and three here for Indianapolis. Rivers takes the snap. He's feeling pressure. Throws it over the middle again to Trey Burton, who's making every reception count, and that is another first down. Phillip Rivers trips to the left. Marlon Mack in the backfield. Phillip Rivers takes the snap. Here comes the blitz. He's going to get rid of this. T.Y. Hilton beats his man. And he's going to take this down to the 16-yard line. D.Y. Hilton, that's only his second reception on the game, but that is enough. Both have gone for a first down. 
Phillip Rivers under center on first down is going to hand this ball off to Marlon Mack who breaks the first tackle and he's going to be dragged down from behind by Josh Jones. It'll be second and nine, ball at the 15 yard line. Phillip Rivers in the shotgun, Marlon Mack in the backfield with him. Phillip Rivers takes the snap, he's going to throw this to Burton, makes the first guy miss and then gets upended. But he is almost there. He has enough. He had. He got quite a bit of yards. It's going to be third and short. Phillip Rivers in the shotgun here. Marlon Mack in the backfield with him. It's going to be a handoff to Marlon Mack. He's going to go up the middle and have enough for a first down. It is first and goal. Ball at the five yard line. Caleb on chase on was there in on the play. Phillip Rivers. Goal line set here, but they are happy to take this into the fourth quarter with a lead 21 to 19 and in the red zone. Two tight ends to the right or to the left here for Phillip Rivers. He's going to take the snap, fire this out, and that is going to be knocked away. Good play by Henderson. Second and goal here for Indianapolis. Phillip Rivers in the shotgun. Burton in the slot to the left. He's going to fire this out quick, and that is a touchdown. Indianapolis. Phillip Rivers, quick pass, and they are going to come out for the extra point. Rosas ready to kick this extra point. The snap is good. Kick is up, and Indianapolis lead 28 to 19. Rosas ready to kick this ball back to Jacksonville. Clay Brooks ready to make the return. He's going to get this out to about the 25-yard line before he stopped. Last time Jaguars were out on the field, Gardner Minshew threw a 60-yard bomb to DJ Chark, who beat his guy and got a touchdown. Minshew in the shotgun, Robinson in the backfield with him. Minshew takes the snap, rolls out to the right. He's going to get rid of it, and D.D. Westbrook's there to make the reception. Good throw there by Gardner Minshew, who was throwing as he was getting hit. It is second and five, ball at the 30-yard line. Gardner Minshew in the shotgun takes the snap. He's got a little bit of time. He's going to find LaVisca Chanel over the middle for a first down. Okariki is in there to take him down. Gardner Minshew in the shotgun on first down. Changing the play. He takes a snap. He's going to fire this out towards LaVisca Schnolt. There was a lot of contact there, but no flag. And it will be second and ten. Good play there by the defense. Gardner Minshew in the shotgun on second down. He's going to take the snap. He's going to roll out to his right. And he's going to fire this in the area of LaVisca Chenault, who was open. And because of a bad pass, LaVisca Chenault cannot keep the ball in bounds. And it'll be third and long. Gardner Minshew in the shotgun. Robinson in the backfield with him. DJ Chark in the slot to the right. He's going to fire this out towards DJ Chark, who is wide open. And he overthrows him. That was a chance for another big play. And instead, out comes Logan Cook to punt this ball away. The punt is up. This is returnable. He's going to get this. And he's going to be taken down at about the 25-yard line. Rodgers on another good return. And out comes Phillip Rivers, who is 18 of 24, 201 yards, two one touchdown, one interception. Phillip Rivers in the shotgun. Marlon Mack in the backfield with him. Burton in the slot to the left. Phillip Rivers makes some changes. Gives this to Marlon Mack, who's going to go up the middle for a good game. Phillip Rivers on second and short will be in the shotgun. Jacksonville showing a blitz. Indianapolis has a guy in motion. They're going to take the snap, fire it out quick. He's going to break a tackle, and he's going to get a big gain. 
He's going to take this all the way down to the 37-yard line as he was able to get off the line and be open. Pascal on the reception. He has made two big plays here in this game. Rivers under center. Fakes, gives the handoff to Marlon Mack. Joe Schobert is able to get a tackle there. And Trey Burden is down with an injury. He has been big for the Indianapolis Colts in this game. Phillip Rivers in the shotgun here on second down. He takes a snap. He's got time. Fires it over the middle. Mo Ali Cox makes the reception. He fills right in for Trey Burden. And he's going to take this all the way down to the 12-yard line. Phillip Rivers in the shotgun. Marlon Mack in the backfield with him. Quentin Nelson still has yet to check back into the game. Phillip Rivers has not been under a ton of pressure, though. Marlon Mack waiting for something to open up, but Joe Schobert's there for the tackle. Philip Rivers will be in the shotgun. Wilkins checks into the game for Indianapolis. He's going to take the snap. He's got time. He's going to fire this out to his guy who makes the reception. And Scott's there for the tackle. Pascal on the catch again. Philip Rivers in the shotgun and in the slot to the right, T.Y. Hilton. Philip Rivers takes the snap. He's got time. It's going to go to T.Y. Hilton, who breaks the tackle of Miles Jack, and he's in for a touchdown. T.Y. Hilton over 1,000 yards this season, and Philip Rivers will stay on the field to go for two. They're already up 34 to 19, but they are trying to make this 36 to 19. Philip Rivers takes the snap, fires it out. T.Y. Hilton on the two-point conversion. And T.Y. Hilton so far has four receptions, two for a first down, one for a touchdown, and one for a two-point conversion. It is 36-19 in this game. Clay Brooks is going to take this deep in his own end zone. He's going to bob and weave to the 23-yard line. And Gardner Minshew and the Jacksonville Jaguars offense have got to get something going. It's the end of the season. Do something, Gardner Minshew, to try to keep your starting position. Gardner Minshew takes the snap, overthrows D.D. Westbrook over the middle, and that's going to fall incomplete. Gardner Minshew at about 50% completion percentage on the game, on the season, really. Gardner Minshew in the shotgun, second and 10. He takes the snap. He's got time. He's going to fire this to D.J. Chark who was open for a second and good coverage by Xavier Rhodes. He's going to punch that out and it's going to be third and long. Minshew on third down fakes the handoff to Robinson. He's got time. He's going to get hit as he throws. D.D. Westbrook tries to make the diving catch, but that's going to fall incomplete. More on the coverage and out comes Logan Cook. Or he should, but instead Jacksonville are going to stay on the field. On 4th and 10, Gardner Minshew takes a snap. He's got time. He's going to fire this deep. It's going to be well underthrown in the area of LaVisca Chenault. And Indianapolis will take over at the Jacksonville 23-yard line. They're already almost in the red zone. On 1st down, the handoff's going to go to Marlon Mack, who's going to get a gain of 10. But there is a flag on the play, and it's going to be a holding call on Indianapolis, and this play will come back. It is 19 to 36, Indianapolis, first and 17. Two tight ends into the game, Burden back. Marlon Mack gets the carry up the middle. He's going to break tackles, and there he goes. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Seven minutes left to go in the game. Marlon Mack on a 31-yard touchdown carry. Marlon Mack having a big game here for Indianapolis. Rosas out for the extra point. The kick is up and the kick is good. And it is 43 to 19. Indianapolis going to finish this year out strong. And Jacksonville are going to uh, end this season exactly how it started. Not in a good way. Gardner Minshew has struggled all year long. You got to think Jacksonville are going to be looking in free agency or in the draft to pick up a quarterback 
to potentially try to push Minshew to either greatness or to take over the role as starting quarterback. Clay Brooks takes this to the 23-yard line. And here comes Gardner Minshew trailing big in halfway through the fourth quarter. Minshew in the shotgun. Robinson in the backfield with him. He's going to take the snap. He's got time, and he's going to fire this towards D.D. Westbrook, who is wide open, and he overthrows him again. Gardner Minshew and his accuracy issues have killed him all season long. Second down here, Gardner Minshew takes the snap, fires this to D.D. Westbrook, who makes a man miss, and he's going to take this all the way to the 43-yard line. Big play there for D.D. Westbrook. D.D. Westbrook had made that entire play happen. He is almost at 100 yards receiving this game. Trips to the right here for Gardner Minshew, who's going to hand this ball off to Robinson, who's going to get a good game. Second and four here for Jacksonville. Gardner Minshew in the shotgun. He's going to take the snap. He's going to roll out to his right. And he's going to throw this deep to D.D. Westbrook, who makes the reception. And he's got enough for a first down. He's over 100 yards on the game. It is first and 10. Ball at the 24-yard line. Gardner Minshew will be under center. He's going to take the snap. Hand this ball off to Robinson, who's met by Buckner. And he is going to get back to the line of scrimmage. Gardner Minshew in the shotgun. LaShawn McCoy has checked into the game. Gardner Minshew takes the snap. He's got time. He's going to throw this deep. And that is going to be nearly intercepted as that was a poorly thrown ball. And it will be third and long. Keelan Cole was the intended receiver. Gardner Minshew in the shotgun here on third and long. He's going to take the snap. He's going to roll out to his right. He's going to fire this towards the left where D.D. Westbrook was. There is a flag, and they're going to call pass interference on the defense. Kenny Moore is the guy they call it on, and he'll be first and 10, ball at the 11-yard line. Minshew under center. Robinson in the backfield, and there will be a timeout taken by the Jacksonville Jaguars. Gardner Minshew in the shotgun. He's going to take the snap, gives this to Robinson. Robinson goes up the middle, and he's going to take this all the way down to the one-yard line, and it'll be first and goal from the one, and Robinson over 100 yards and over 1,000 yards on the season. Great rookie campaign here for James Robinson. This will be a pitch out to Robinson, and he is going to lose yards on the play. That'll take him back under 100. He is back to 94 yards on the game. Second and goal, ball to six. Two tight ends to the right here for Gardner Minshew. Minshew making some changes, takes the snap. He's got time. He's going to fire this over the middle. D.D. Westbrook makes the tough catch, and that is a touchdown for D.D. Westbrook. 25 to 43. Gardner Minshew stays out on the field. Making some changes to the play. This will be a handoff to Robinson, who's going to be met in the backfield. Okariki there, as well as Walker. And that will be no good. 25 to 43. Lambeau ready to kick this ball back to Indianapolis. The kick is up. And this will not be returnable yet again. As you can see, Baltimore leading Cincinnati. They're looking to go 15-1 this season. Phillip Rivers with three, three tight ends into the game. He's going to take the snap and give this to Marlon Mack. Joe Schober in on the tackle. But Marlon Mack has 142 yards rushing, two touchdowns. Second and seven. Phillip Rivers will be in the shotgun here with Marlon Mack in the backfield with him. This handoff will go to Marlon Mack, and there's Joe Schober again for another tackle as Marlon Mack is able to make it back to the line of scrimmage, and that will be the two-minute warning here in Indianapolis in week 17. 
Looks like Jacksonville are going to fall to 6-10 and 10 on the season. Phillip Rivers takes the snap, hands this off to Marlon Mack. Miles Jack on the tackle. And that will be fourth down, but it's a little bit, it's a little too late. Sanchez out to punt this ball away. Westbrook, Westbrook back there waiting. He's going to get this at about the 26-yard line. He's going to make a man miss. And he's going to get this up to the 28-yard line. D.D. Westbrook trying to do a little bit too much there in the punt return. It is first and 10. Ball at the 28-yard line. One minute and 15 seconds left to go in this first season of the Jacksonville Jaguars franchise. Gardner Minshew in the shotgun on first down. Takes a snap. He's moving around in the pocket, and he's going to throw this ball away as DeForest Buckner was breathing down his back. Minshew has 289 yards on the game, but his completion percentage has just been trash. He takes the snap. He's got, he gets hit. Keelan Cole goes up and makes a great reception in great coverage. Keelan Cole in on the play. It's enough for a first down, and the Jaguars will continue to drive. Gardner Minshew makes a change to the play. Robinson's going to take the ball. He's going to go and be met by Okariki, but there is a flag, and they are going to call a face mask on Okariki. It's going to be first and ten. Ball at the Indianapolis 33-yard line. Minshew trying to score. He's going to take the snap. He's got a little bit of time. He's going to fire this out to LaVisca Chenault. Makes a guy miss. Breaks the tackle. And he's going to push this all the way down to the one-yard line. Almost scores on the play. A great play there by the rookie. Gardner Minshew will be in the shotgun on first and goal from the one. He takes the snap. He's got time. Fires it. D.D. Westbrook is in on the reception. That's the second touchdown of the game for D.D. Westbrook. <clears throat> Tennessee now trailing to Houston, 28 to 24. Lambeau, the kick is up and the kick is good. It is 32 to 43, and this game is basically over with 29 seconds in Jacksonville with one timeout. Lambeau's going to kick this ball back to Indianapolis and they should just kneel on this ball you gotta think Jacksonville are going to be looking to have a little bit of quarterback competition and they've got to do something to shore up the, their uh, defensive backfield that has been their weakness all season long uh, linebackers Schobert, Miles Jack have played great defensive linemen have played great Brian and Gotsis have got to the quarterback often um, Robinson played great. Wide receiving core is looking pretty decent. Just got to fix up a few things here or there. And that's going to be the end of the season. Jacksonville will be 6-10. and 10. Thank you for joining me. If you did like, please subscribe. Blue blow that like button, notification bell. Until next time, the Bird Killer is out.